So we know this neuron is trying to decide whether or not it wants to trigger an action potential. And we know normally inside of the neuron, the voltage is at negative 70 millivolts. However, if we can make this region of the neuron reach a potential of negative 55 millivolts, then an action potential is released. So why, why when we make this region of the neuron negative 55 millivolts, an action potential is released? Well, to understand what's going on, First, we need to see what the normal conditions are. So normally inside the neuron, the voltage is at negative 70 millivolts. And also we have these transporters, this sodium potassium transporter, which is constantly pushing sodium ions outside of the neuron and pushing potassium ions inside of the neuron. So outside of the neuron in this black space, there's high sodium. Inside of the neuron, inside of the neuron, there's high potassium due to the sodium potassium transporter. So it's important to, to get familiar with that. And not just that, at this part of the neuron, we have these two important channels. And we learned in the previous video, and I have a link of the previous video below, I highly recommend you watch it before this video because we're going to build upon those ideas. But we learned that all channels can be characterized by the way they're regulated and by what ion they're specific for. So for example, we have these important blue channels in this particular region. So these channels are regulated by voltage. It's the voltage that regulates whether they're open or not. Once we reach a certain voltage, then the channels open. And also these channels are specific for sodium ions. So when they open, they allow sodium ions to flow. So again, all channels can be characterized characterized by the way they're regulated and what ion they're, they're specific for. So these yellow channels, these yellow channels are regu also regulated by voltage, but their magic number is positive 50 millivolts. So once the potential reaches positive 50 millivolts, then these channels open. And also they happen to be sp specific for potassium ions. So all channels can be characterized by these two, by the way they're regulated and which ion they're specific for. So what does the all of what do these channels have to do with the action potential? Well, again, we know normally inside the neuron the voltage is at negative 70 millivolts. However, we learned in the previous video that other neurons can send signals, and maybe the signal is helping this neuron become more positive. So if it sends enough signals to make this neuron more positive, eventually it can make the potential inside of this neuron get positive enough to negative 55 millivolts. So again, we know normally the neuron is at negative 70 millivolts, but maybe this neuron is sending signals that's making this neuron more positive. And maybe it sent enough signals to make this neuron get positive enough to negative 55 millivolts. So what happens once this neuron gets to negative 55 millivolts? Well, we already explained these channels are regulated by the, by the voltage. And we learned once we reach a, volt, a potential of negative 55 millivolts, then these channels open. So in the normal conditions, when it's negative 70 millivolts, the normal conditions, these channels are closed. However, if we can make it positive enough to negative 55 millivolts, then the channels open. So now what happens once these channels open? Well, we see they're specific. These blue channels are specific for sodium ions. So sodium ions are going to flow, but how are they going to flow? Well, we know due to the concentration gradient, there's a lot of sodium outside of the neuron and a little sodium inside of the neuron. So due to these concentration gradients, sodium is going to want to enter inside of the cell. So these sodium ions are going to want to enter inside of the neuron. So therefore, the sodium is going to enter inside of the neuron. So what's going to happen when these positively charged sodium ions enter inside of the neuron? Well, as these positive charged sodium ions enter inside of the neuron, the voltage is going to become more positive. So that makes sense. Due to the concentration gradient, sodium is going to enter inside the neuron and the neuron is going to become more positive. So slowly, the neuron is going to get more positive. So again, maybe eventually, so the so positive sodium enters and maybe gets negative 25 millivolts. And then positive sodium keeps entering and then maybe gets to zero millivolts. Now positive sodium keeps entering, maybe now gets to positive 20 millivolts. And again, the sodium, due to the concentration gradient, it's going to keep on entering. So inside the neuron is going to keep on getting more positive and eventually we'll get to positive 50 millivolts. So what happens once we reach once enough positive sodium ions enter so it gets the positive 50 millivolts? Well, we know these channels are also regulated by voltage and their magic number is positive 50 millivolts. So once it reaches once enough positive sodium ions have entered to make the potential positive 50 millivolts, then these channels will sense that and then these channels will open cuz they open at positive 50 millivolts. So now what happens? Well, we know these channels are specific for, for potassium ions. And we know due to the potassium ion concentration gradient, potassium is going to want to flow outside of the neuron. So potassium ions are going to flow outside of the neuron. So what's going to happen as these positive potassium ions leave the neuron? 
Well, if positive potassium ions leave the neuron, the neuron's going to become more negative. So the neuron's going to get more negative. Maybe it gets to positive 30 millivolts. And as potassium keeps leaving, the neuron's going to become more negative. And eventually so much potassium has left that the neuron's going to get so negative that it's going to get more negative and eventually it'll get to negative 80 millivolts. So, so much positive potassium has left that it's become so negative that eventually it'll get to negative 80 millivolts. And then once it gets to negative 80 millivolts, then eventually these channels are going to close. Then this transporter is going to keep on moving ions and kind of restore the neuron to the original condition. So now the neuron is back to negative 70 millivolts. So this sequence of events is referred to as an action potential. So, so, so what I just illustrated is referred to as an action potential. So let's do that one more time, but let's draw a graph where this represents the potential and this represents time. And, and let's again, re-illustrate exactly what's going on. So normally inside the neuron, it's at negative 70 millivolts. However, maybe this neuron is sending signals that's making this neuron more positive. So maybe this neuron sends signals and we explained what those signals are like in the last video. That makes this neuron more positive and maybe enough positive signals have been released to make this neuron positive enough to reach negative 55 millivolts. So we see it got, it got more positive to negative 55 millivolts. What happens once enough positive signals have made it positive enough so it gets to negative 55 millivolts? Well, we know once we reach negative 55 millivolts, these channels open. They're regulated by voltage and their magic number is negative 55 millivolts. So now they open. So what happens once they open? Once they open, we know sodium ions are going to enter inside the neuron. So those positively charged sodium ions enter inside of the neuron. So as those positive charged sodium ions enter inside the neuron, the neuron's going to become more positive. So we're going to, we're going to see the voltage getting much more positive. And we can represent that. So the positive sodium ions enter. So it's going to get more positive. And we can see that on our graph, it's going to become much more positive. And the potential is going to get much more positive until it reaches positive 55 millivolts. So now what happens once, once enough positive sodium has entered that it gets a positive 55 millivolts? Now these yellow channels open, because again, they're regulated by voltage. So now these yellow channels open. So what happens once these yellow channels open? Well, we know they're specific for potassium, so potassium is going to flow outside of the neuron due to its concentration gradient. So as those positive charged potassium leaves the neuron, the neuron is going to become more negative. So positive potassium leaves the neuron, so the neuron's going to become more negative. So we're going to see the potential becoming more negative, going downward and becoming more negative. So we can represent that like this. So it's going to keep on getting more negative until it gets to around negative 80 millivolts. And then the sodium potassium transporter is going to restore this back to the normal conditions. So this process is referred to as an action potential. So this is an action potential. So this phase, when it when the sodium enters and becomes more positive, that's referred to as depolarization. But the phase when the potassium leaves the neuron and becomes more negative, that's referred to as hyperpolarization. And this entire process is referred to as an action potential, and that's what's going on here. And again, you might wonder why when this positive sodium enters the neuron, it gets to positive 55 millivolts. Well, this is around sodium's equilibrium potential. And we learned about equilibrium potentials in previous videos. I have a link of that video below. And then why when this channel opens and the potassium flows outside of the neuron, it gets to around negative 80 millivolts. Well, that is around potassium's equilibrium potential. And again, I have a link of the, the equilibrium potential video below. So again, that's what's going on. That's why when we get to negative 55 millivolts, an action potential is, is triggered. And, and that's what an action potential is. But why is this relevant? And, and why does this, how can this lead to a signal being propagated down the axon? Well, again, essentially what's going on. So again, we know normally it's at negative 70 millivolts and we have these blue channels, which are, which are regulated by voltage and they're specific for sodium ions. But these blue channels at this region are actually are located throughout this axon. So there are actually these blue channels throughout this axon. So maybe this represents this channel and then this represents this channel and et cetera. So we have these same channels that are regulated by voltage specifically at negative 55 millivolts and, and specific for sodium ions. We have these blue channels throughout the axon. So, so why is this important and why can this help propagate uh, an electrical signal? Well, again, remember what's going on. First, this neuron sends some signal 
telling, making this neuron more positive. And if it sends enough signals to make this neuron more positive, eventually this region can get positive enough until it gets to negative 55 millivolts. So what happens when enough positive signal is released to make this region negative 55 millivolts? Then once this region reaches negative 55 millivolts, these channels open. So now these channels are gonna open. So what happens once they open? We know sodium ions due to the concentration gradient is gonna enter inside the neuron. So these sodium ions are gonna enter inside of the neuron. So it, as it enters inside of the neuron, they're going to start to diffuse. So they're going to diffuse forward. So, so these sodium ions that enter are going to start to diffuse forward. So what happens as those positive sodium ions diffuse forward? They're going to eventually make this region more positive. So as these positive sodium ions diffuse forward, they're going to make this region more positive. And eventually this region is going to be positive enough until it gets to negative 55 millivolts. And then once it reaches negative 55 millivolts, now these channels open. So now these channels are going to open. And once these channels open, now more sodium ions are going to enter. So now, the, now these channels have opened, we see. So now more sodium ions are going to enter. So as these sodium ions enter, they're also going to diffuse. So as these sodium ions enter, they're also going to diffuse. And as they diffuse forward, they're going to make this region more positive. So, so they're going to diffuse forward, and now they're going to make this region more positive. So now as this region gets more positive, it's the same idea. Eventually, it's going to get positive enough to negative 55 millivolts, because again, those positive sodium ions are making it more positive. Once it gets to negative 55 millivolts, now these channels open. Now these channels open. Now more sodium ions are going to enter. And now as more sodium ions enter the axon, as more sodium ions enter the axon, they're also going to diffuse. So as they diffuse, they're going to make this region more positive, and as this region gets more positive, it's going to reach negative 55 millivolts, so now these channels are open. So notice we're going to have this domino effect. We're going to have this chain reaction, where again, we make it more positive, these channels open, sodium ions enter, they diffuse, making this region more positive, sodium ions enter, diffuse, making this region more positive. So we're going to have this chain reaction of these sodium ions entering, diffusing, and making the downstream region more positive. So again, and then eventually, so eventually we're going to have this chain reaction. And this chain reaction can occur indefinitely. In fact, we can have axons almost the length of our entire body and, 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 uh, prop and continuously, indefinitely propagating this action potential through this mechanism. So again, but eventually these channels are going to open. Eventually, sodium ions enter, making this region more positive, so then sodium ions enter and diffuse. So as sodium ions enter and diffuse, they're going to make this terminal region more positive. So as they make this terminal region more positive, what's going to happen? Well, we have these other important ion channels here, the, these pink channels. So these pink channels are actually, they're also regulated by voltage, and they're specific for, for calcium ions. So again, sodium ions enter, make this region more positive. So they're going to make this region more positive, eventually positive enough to positive 40 millivolts. And once enough sodium ions have entered to make this region positive 40 millivolts, now these channels are going to open. These pink channels are going to open. So as these pink channels open, they allow calcium ions to flow inside of the neuron. So they're going to allow calcium ions to flow inside the neuron. And due to the concentration gradient, calcium is going to flow inside of the neuron. So what happens when these calcium ions flow inside of the neuron? Well, when these calcium ions flow inside the neuron in these terminal regions, they're going to actually trigger a chain reaction that is essentially allows neurotransmitters to be released. And it's a little complex exactly how calcium ions entering allows neurotransmitters to be released. But the point is, neurotransmitters are going to be released. So as these neurotransmitters are released, now they can talk to other neurons. So now they can talk to other neurons, making maybe this neuron more positive. Eventually, it'll get positive enough where this region will get to negative 55 millivolts. And then once it gets to negative 55 millivolts, it will trigger another action potential going through the exact same process. So this process, this propagation of, a, propagation of an action potential is how electrical signals are propagated. But again, something important to realize is to allow this process to occur in the first place, the first stimulus was this neuron releasing these neurotransmitters, making this neuron more positive. But if enough excitatory neurotransmitters were released to make this region positive enough to reach negative 55 millivolts, then these channels open, then sodium ions enter, then they diffuse, and then they allow that, that chain reaction to occur to eventually reach the terminals to allow more neurotransmitters to be released to influence more neurons to signal more action potentials.